Mama keep the pots and pans in the kitchen. Mama keep the pots and pans in the kitchen. I'll be banging on the pans in the kitchen. So now, as you can see, our sauce is reduced a little bit. We're getting down to a little bit. We're going to go ahead and add some uh, cream, whipping cream, whole cream, whatever you want to use. Um, just want to make sure. Don't add a bunch. Okay. Just add a little bit. You will find that when you're cooking, cream can bring anything back to life. That is like your bread and butter. Cream can bring any sauce, any soup, anything back together. It's really well, and it really adds flavor and just, it's great. Like, I don't know if I can say anything more about cream than what I've already said. All right, we're gonna add some more here. Again, not gonna heat down a little bit. Our noodles are done, it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and, oh, a stranger right out there. Thank you, sir. All right, so we're going to, pretty simple. You're just going to drain your noodles into a colander. I'm sure many of you people watching this have done it before at home. Seems to be a common thing. So you're just going to let them go ahead and give them a little shake. Do the Harlem shake. Last couple of noodles there, that's all right. You have plenty more to go. Then we're going to keep turning to this. We're going to turn it down a little bit more. All right, you got a little bit too thin. That's why you always have more. Add a little bit more of this. And we're going to add a little bit of tomato paste. I find tomato paste just brings a nice color. Not that's going to be too big of a spoon. So we're going to mix around a little spoon. And then just going to keep mixing. That tomato paste will break down. Will be incorporated into the sauce. And I'm just gonna add a touch more cream because I like my cream. <laughs> like I said, there will be a recipe for this. I'll give you exact measurements on how to do this. So you won't just be blindly guessing and hoping you're getting it correct and wasting your precious money on excess. So I'd like to add break up a little bit more and grab a strainer. Very helpful, very useful. So we're gonna do it and take a bowl. And take a strainer and set that up right there. All right, this is ready to go ahead and be strained. You're gonna take it over. Can you uh, go ahead and pour this for me, Chef? Okay. All right. So you're gonna hold that and you're gonna pour it through. So essentially, what you do is you catch it all the flavoring, and you don't have all those chunks or anything. You're gonna want to scrape that clean. Put that up there for right a second. Go ahead and make sure you get all that delicious juice. All right, now you can go ahead and if you want to use this, you can puree it and incorporate it into your sauce. I am not going to do that. I'm just going to take this sauce. I'm going to put our mushrooms back on this on the heat. We're going to add the sauce to our mushrooms. Now you may be wondering, why do we add the mushrooms to the sauce? The mushrooms are basically like little sponges. They just soak up all the, we'll soak up all the sauce. And essentially, if you just eat one of these mushrooms, you can get the exact same taste of the sauce. We're going to let it reduce a little bit more. Because that's how we do it here. And got to let it keep going. Making sure your sauce is not burned. You just spent all this time and effort. You want to make sure this is nice sauce. Get a little bit reduced more. All right, I'm gonna take out the tasting oh, spoon. See that? You want to make sure your sauce is like that. So it'll go run. It's called nappe, and it's, it makes it a nice overall sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off the heat. Gonna do a little taste to make sure we don't need to add any salt or pepper. And uh, of course I spill it myself. But no, this sauce is perfect. So we're gonna move it off the heat. We don't want to ruin that. Go ahead and turn that off the heat. All right, we're gonna come over here with our, oh, there it is. All right, so what are you gonna do is we have some dishes here. 
we're going to go ahead and plate. We're going to take, we're going to put this right here. too much that's all right and then we're gonna go ahead and take our meat that we left over here chilling still nice and warm I'm gonna grab our tongs now what you can do is you can place it like this or excuse me here you can go ahead and grab your chef's knife if you want to be a little extra fancier maybe press the kids husband wife girlfriend you can actually cut this in half and then you can add it and put it on top and it's all tight to the plate so we're gonna go ahead and do that we're gonna actually go over to the cutting board because it's so much easier just gonna take cut this right in half I'm gonna take this one I'm gonna cut this one right in half and then that way we're done with that actually I'll sit in the knife so I can do a nice little pickup here. You're gonna take it. Just gonna build some height to the plate. Make it look nice. There we go. All right. And then you take off. We can take this nice sauce we made. Just drizzle it over top of this. Make sure you get the mushrooms. It's going to hold up all that flavor in there. Just a little. And that right there is going to be your finished product. You go ahead and make some vegetables. We didn't have enough time to make some vegetables today, but as you can see, this is going to be a great, great quick meal. And uh, so, yeah, that would be uh, Chef Swag. And basically, if you want to know more recipes, anything, go ahead and like and subscribe to this video. We'll make sure we keep you updated. And if you want to see anything that you're not sure how to do or you want to know some stuff knowledge, go ahead and leave us a comment, message us. We will be glad to get to you and let you know anything you need to know. Mama keep the pots and pans in the kitchen. Mama keep the pots and pans in the kitchen. I'll be banging on the pans in the kitchen.